hey baby nuggets so i've decided to do readings for cancer i'm a cancer sun and rising and also for gemini i'm a gemini <laughs> moon and venus so i already did the cancer reading please check my tiktok celia's tarot and on youtube celia's tarot for the cancerian sign reading it's a collective reading i just posted it today and i forgot the date what is it oh it's april 1st <laughs> Ooh, a pinch and a punch is the first of the month. All right, so let's see. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what messages come out for Gemini, my spirit guides. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is when you see the video. This is a Gemini reading, collective reading. It is for a certain group of Gemini. That's the weirdest little fucking thing I've... Oh, look at you, Gemini. Yes empress mode divine feminine baby maybe you're checking out mentally um in regards to some kind of situation gemini uh kings and queens all right whoever's watching my video uh thank you for clicking thank you for subscribing and hitting the notification bell and all that good stuff that all the readers have to say and i always forget to say what other messages are <clears throat> necessary for those who are watching those gemini gemini sun moon rising and whoa venus okay so somebody's confused let's see this is in regards to love i didn't even make that clear it's in regards to love yes somebody's juggling things in their life maybe um money of course Ooh, okay you are there when they think of you right when this person thinks of you they are happy. You bring them joy. Whatever you do, whatever you, whatever you come up in their mind, <laughs> broken hearted. Oy vey, oy vey. So there is some kind of broken heart, but they do think of you as, um, wow, just a joy, sunshine in their life. You are the sunshine in my life. So there's something tedious going on in their life also apparently that has to do maybe with a heartbreak so let's see gemini i just freestyle all the time i don't have a, an exact format maybe that sucks but hey this is just messages main messages now they may be confused about something the person that would be coming in or whoever you're talking i mean thinking about or maybe talking about too yeah maybe you're talking about them maybe it's a water sign cancer scorpio pisces gemini let's see I want to get a clarifier in regards to... Why did I use these little ones? Uh, I want to get a clarifier in regards to the Three of Swords spirit guides. Why is this person, Gemini's person, in the Three of Swords energy? I mean, it's in regards to them. So, uh, yeah. okay, because of a victory or because of their ego and it just may be look the emperor so this just may be your divine counterpart so because of ego i feel this may be why they are in the three of swords energy wow but there is movement forward just maybe a cancerian movement forward and they're manifesting something in their life so i see a lot of mixed energy Okay, they are manifesting things in their life, but their love for you is pretty much steady and it's been there for a while, maybe up to nine years, six to nine years, because there's two, six, one, nine. I mean, it's like the lottery, you never know. And it's what I'm receiving spiritually, guys. So let's see what is going on. What is the next step that this person is going to take towards you? Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I even forgot what I said in the Cancer reading. That's why I say I freestyle. I freestyle just like my favorite music. <laughs> so, yeah. Freestyle music in the house. I have to do something in regards to freestyle music and my, my TikToks. All right. So, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This collective reading for whoever's watching. What is their person's next step towards them, towards the Gemini that's watching? What is their person's next step? There's a lot of collective energy going on right now. That's why I said, what did I say? What came out before? 
right baby i love tarot this love has been there it's been enduring it's been maybe silent because it's a very slow moving energy but it's been there across past lives across the many years that you've known each other and this person somehow knows that you guys have a divinely guided connection the lover's card that's the gemini card baby it's you what is the next step towards them and this love is coming in it's coming in slow and steady and slow and steady does what it wins the race, man. And they're confused about what they should do or the next step that they should take in regards to the connection with you. So let's see the next step, the next move towards Gemini. Thank you. Yeah, they're overthinking it. So, I mean, their sign, it really doesn't matter. It can be uh, water. <laughs> Look who shows up on the bottom. You again. You're strong. You are strong in their mind, babe. Because after seeing the Two of Swords, which is thinking, and then the Eight of Swords, it's more thinking, overthinking, right? It's the overthinking energy of saying, hey, listen, you showed up in the bottom of the deck, Divine Feminine. So this is majorly overthinking. This person has you on their brain, insane like a membrane. Are those the words? But regardless, let's see. What is the next step this person? They're scared, somehow scared and manifesting. What did I say, man? Look, manifesting the magician card. They are manifesting this connection. Look where it falls, right? And baby cakes. Six of cups, man. This is a past life situation. What did I, what did I say? What did I say? Past life situation. Um, Person from the past. Maybe water energy, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, air quality. I mean, I, I don't like to dwell on the freaking signs because it could take the whole damn reading. What's their next move towards? They are manifesting you, babe. But I feel like a standstill. Yeah, they're releasing a burden. And the burden is making them feel like this. They're, they're not in a good space, especially mental space at the moment, babe. So give them time, okay, sweetie? So, and, and they're releasing a burden. They're making decisions in their life. Very tough decisions. See all the water behind this woman that's holding the two swords. And it's not, it's not nice energy per se. Let's just say that they're getting over or trying to decipher what they can do with a burden in their life. Whatever heavy burden that they have, they're manifesting, coming towards you. But right now they're stuck like Chuck. All right, babe, they are stuck like Chuck, damn, uh, with handcuffs on and in quicksand. Sorry. Okay, so uh, let's see what other messages. You know what? I'm going to do the Love Oracle. I'm at eight minutes. Let me just do this one. It's so cute. Love Oracle cards, messages from your person to you. So we already know this is a major, major message um a collective message in a lot of readings yep i watch mine too baby cakes my cancer and gemini readings and it's all like on fleek especially with divinely guided connections they're going through a rough patch but they love you and let's see what other messages come through for gemini gemini sun moon rising and venus i would appreciate it if you guys would go towards my um, what is it? Uh, follow me here on TikTok and then on YouTube also, and then share, like, subscribe and all that other good stuff. Okay. Wow. This just fell onto paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So this may just happen, but look, this is like the, um, the wheel of fortune, babe. Okay. The clock need time takes time in time cycles time to heal and progress because somebody is having endings and new beginnings and the new beginnings is with you babe so don't worry about it growth change liberation they're liberating themselves that was the ten of wands and then we have the dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal okay my babies beautiful cards beautiful beautiful indication validation that things are going directly towards where they have to go man get a personal reading my loves celias tarot at gmail.com and that's about it i love you i love you love you love you bye